I would go in surgery. I was telling them, hey, this is my voice. This is how I make my money. Yes, I need that. you to use the baby uh, a thing to go put the, mm -hmm. the tube mm -hmm. and to be very careful. I know, you Amen. know, but it's but it, and he was there like through all of that. And I know it got scary because it's like I couldn't even hold down water. So it's like. And I just kept looking at him like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm not leaving. Oh, no. I, if she'd have died, I would have woke her back up. <laughs> you a lie. You a lie. You but a lie. It was you really <laughs> scary for my family. I made vows. I broke them. Hindsight, I didn't comprehend the gravity of the exchange of this solemn promise. A vow. Before God and man. It's time to unpack these sacred words so that I never take this oath lightly ever again. I'm Latera Sar Whitfield, and this is the Marriage Vow series on the Dear Future Wifey podcast. Welcome to the Dear Future Wifey podcast. I'm your host, Latera Sar Whitfield. Hey, before we get started, are you still shacking up with us? If you are, please. Take a moment, hit that subscription button and subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified about upcoming episodes. And make sure you like and share this episode. Now, this episode is something you're definitely going to want to share. As we've been deep diving into these marriage vows, y'all have sent me requests. and Y'all said, can y'all please get this particular couple? So, I mean, I would be remiss if I didn't have this phenomenal couple on the Dear Future Wifey podcast to bless us with so many years of wisdom. Um, these these cats need no introduction. I'm just going to just jump right on into it. Welcome to the Dear Future Wifey podcast. My homies, David and Tamala Mann. How y'all doing? What's up, man? Hey, everybody. Just so they know, we've been trying to get on here for a while. Man. You and I have been talking forever. Like, we yeah. coming, we coming. We coming. Y'all so busy. So, like I said, I'm, I'm so honored to have y'all. David, when I talked to you uh, about a month ago, I almost broke down in tears. Because I said, I went into my spiel. I said, hey, David, I got this uh, I got this podcast where I discover, uncover, and recover yeah. love. And, and I'm taking people on my personal journey. You just interrupt. You're like, hold on, Latarius. I watch a podcast. Yeah, I'm like, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I said, oh, really? Uh, 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 <laughs> and I, he, just, he just took the, I was yeah, like, well, like, where do I go from here? And I said, well, okay, well, let me just jump into it. I need you and Tamla on the, on the podcast. She was like, hey, when you want to do it? And I said, listen, I would love to hear y'all bless the audience uh, with your story about um, um, for richer or for poor. And you said, you know what? I have an even better one. And that is sickness and in health right and you begin to talk about some of y'all's experiences and i was just like wow this is see what y'all don't understand I, I allow god to be the executive producer over my podcast so because this is my personal journey i want people that can pour into me and then the audience is blessed by the overflow and so uh wow. on the podcast we believe in keeping it lit wow so, I, I like that and that's a good one for us in yeah. sickness and in health yeah because yeah, yeah. we because i've we, had a lot of lived it some look some lot of sicknesses <laughs> <laughs> some lot of surgeries and different things but that's great that's yeah, interesting baby. yeah so so david why did you say that this was the most important vow for you to be able to tackle you know uh, we share we we share in our in the book that we wrote together god forbid that uh some catastrophic event happened to one of us this is something in the vow that you know, we always go back, revisit the vow and your vows. Like, would I be able to stay? Because we can stay in health. Yes. As long as she fine and she got everything, <laughs> got the 50 inch hair and all of that. It's cool. <laughs> but when she's bed stricken and you have to take care and you have to be her all. My yeah. Lord. When you have to be there to do some of the stuff that you think like, I can never do that. Wow. But see, we don't realize when we when we taking that oath and taking that vow before people it's like, in sickness and in health, and it happens, it's like, do <laughs> It's like. Yeah, because things will happen. The book is Us Against the World, Our Secrets to Love, Marriage, marriage and family. family. So just in case for those who tuning in, yes. David and Man, David and Samuel Mann, Us Against the World. But, David, that is so true because we have experienced a lot of ups and downs, and sickness will come. I mean, there's, you know, it could be, a, it could be the flu. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we always think, you know, to death, I mean, or something, you know, yeah. really, really bad. But sometimes it starts with something just really small mm -hmm. to see 
if you're going to be able to stick with that person and, and hang in there. Like like you said, hang, I like that hanging. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to. So let's put reference around it. Let the people know how many years y'all just celebrating an anniversary. How many years have y'all been married? 33 years. 33 years. 33. That's that Jesus number. Uh, <laughs> and growing. Yeah, there it is. 33. And 33. I, and I'm still in love and I still like him. I still enjoy his company. Now, there's a difference. People don't realize that when we say that, yeah. say, I'm still in love and I still, still like, like him. You know you can, lo you can love somebody and not, and like, not them. like them. Come on, somebody. You can see them coming through the door and they can be like, oh, this. <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah, this. I guess he still remember the address. Yes. But, and but we, when you're in love with somebody, mm -hmm. you enjoy coming home. I do. But, we, you know, we're not a perfect couple. We still have some ups and downs. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have little spats, little arguments, whatever you want to call them. But we have more happy days than us arguing and, and, and go, you know, going through, going at it. We tell people we're a work in progress. Exactly. <laughs> so for 33 years, we've been working, working in it and progress. progressing. And our progress is going good. 33 yeah. years. 33, yeah. I amazing. would say that's really good progress. Yeah, I think, and what I makes think. it extremely more, um, a lot of weight on the relationship is that y'all work together. Mm -hmm. Did y'all feel like that strength? I mean, y'all been working together since the family. So I'm saying like, <laughs> how has that affected y'all's relationship? Oh, man. For, well, for me, it's helped my relationship because for one, it's what I wanted. Mm. It's what I desired is someone that we did the same thing. So yeah. it works for me. You know, like I said a few minutes ago, yes, we he does do things and get on my nerves. I'm just <laughs> really? Being, yeah. Nah, so David, he, nah, can't he, get he does. But I mean, but but he still make me laugh. I could be mad at him and then he'd do something to make me laugh. <laughs> and then, you know, it's like I, I'm like, I ain't playing, I'm serious. But I'm like smiling and stuff. You I'm know? just like hey. <laughs> but but it's really it's really been a wonderful journey with him and to look at our lives that we've built everything together. That's what's so beautiful. That's yeah. what, I'm not gonna choke up. No, I know. That's I got what, my t-shirt just in yeah. case. I got <laughs> I, me, I put, I I put got, a box right oh, over here. Oh, good, because yeah, I had I, me a secret uh, napkin folder. Yeah, I, I saw it in your hand, and I'm like, because that's the part that when I look at y'all, and as I was going through my divorce, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be very transparent. As I was going through my divorce in 2015, I don't know what it was, but I saw something of y'all, and I just felt like the biggest failure. No. Looking at y'all made me feel like a failure. And marriage, you know, divorce is a failure. You can't sugarcoat it whatsoever. But it was like, what did, how did they weather through this storm? Because we all have to weather through storms. How did they do it? You know, how can we get reference around that? Can, okay, I, just, just can I say that I'm sorry? And yeah. when David told me that you were, I mean, because we're so pro-marriage that yeah. it, like right now, I'm, like you said, I'm not going to get choked up. I'm yeah. trying to hold it. But I just want everybody to work. Yes. But go ahead, baby. No, and we, you know, we, we often talk about, we go back and we revisit the vows. Yeah. You know, when you, when you standing at that altar, doing those vows that day, number one, you tired, you hungry, <laughs> yeah. you don't know what, you, you don't really, you, I don't think we really understand what we're Getting ourselves, I don't want to say getting ourselves no, true. into. Get, yes. But in some I, cases, that's the truth. Yeah, yes. That's I, a true statement. Yes. Right. But I think if we would <laughs> really? stop, if we would stop and just look at those things for richer or for poor, you know, you have some people out there that marry people because they're rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you going to deal with when they're not? Talk yeah. about it. But like you're talking about the sickness. And you yeah. talking about you, we good as long as they healthy. Yeah. How are you going to deal with it when right. they're not? Yeah. You waiting on them to where they like they down in the bed and can't get up. Yeah. And you got to go bit. serve them. You got to go to the store. You got to come back and take all the groceries. Well, I got you, you gotta one prepare. better. We, our first year of marriage, we, <laughs> she had David Jr. Mm -hmm. And she had to have a C-section. Right. <clears throat> Those of you ladies who know the C-section situation is the cut. Yeah, cut yes. And you really can't do a whole lot for right. yourself. Mm -hmm. Like restroom and cleaning up yourself. Yeah. And as I was sitting there cleaning her up, I said, girl, you better not never, never say, say I don't love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did. He was, but it was, you know what it is? I, Without so, being too gory, it yes. was gory. So, yeah. so let's put reference. How grateful. old were you around that time? 22? 22. Something like 22. We 20, were 22. Yeah, 22. And y'all got married real. Y'all got married at what age? 21. 21. Very young. Babies. We've been together all our lives. Y'all grew up together. We right. did, but we right. took divorce 
off the table. At the very beginning. At the right. very beginning, we was like, divorce is not going to be an option for us. Let's, and we talked about it and was like, we gonna, whatever it is, we're going to work through it. And so did y'all see that in, growing up and where y'all families? Well, both of us came from homes. single parent, you know, homes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and my, my thing is, if I got married, we're going to have to figure it out. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just not. But I, yeah. and I wanted if she leaves to. me, she got to pack our stuff. <laughs> our stuff. Yes. I wanted it to work out. That's my thing is I wanted to work. <laughs> a stalker, don't yes. I? For real? So we going together. Where what? we going? You leave me? Right, wherever, let's go. I'm leaving me too. Let's wherever go. you stop. But I, I mean, but I did say that I want to leave at once upon a time. And, mm -hmm. you know, and especially. What year was that? Our six-year marriage, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. I got them forgot a whole lot of other things, but I've never forgot that. Yeah. And I, you know, because <laughs> we have a tendency as women when things is going crazy when it comes to us, we always say, "I'm leaving and I'm taking my, my kids." kids. Yeah. How did they become your kids? And all I know y'all did play a part <laughs> in them. Thing. When we did, they, it they is, your kids. Just, it, it, your you know, kids, and true. you ain't do nothing with your kids. But when that's they true. mad, they my kids. Because y'all, they are theirs too. <laughs> they did help them get here. Yeah. If it wasn't for them, they wouldn't be here. All Amen. two minutes, we helped them get <laughs> all here. All two minutes. Give me, give my credit. <laughs> and so you say, I'm taking my kids. I'll what made, what made you change your mind? Well, well David <laughs> kept saying. You know, he said, you always do that. You know, one thing he doesn't like to be is alone. Yeah. So that's one maybe, of my fears. Maybe. Hold on, hold on. Let me say this, uh, Tam, and I'm sorry to interrupt you. No. The other day I talked to him and uh, he was he was at y'all new land that y'all have. And, and, and I was like. Oh, so uh, you enjoying yourself? He said, man, I'm lonely. I said, what you lonely I for? Said, I said, I'm not, I don't night. sleep nearly as good as that warm flesh being beside me. <laughs> That's what he That's said. What I told him. And I said, it's just one night, he said, man, I rolled over and I reached for it. And he said, man, I can't do this. I got. <laughs> I, said, I can't do this alone thing. That's true. Nah. And I told him, I said, I had a hard time sleeping. For some reason, I had a hard Normally, I can. But this one, I woke up. Yeah. You used to the grizzly bear laying yeah. next to me. <laughs> Rob. But it, you know, but marriage... Is can be a uh, marriage can be a wonderful thing, but it's just like your job. It takes yeah. work. Yeah. It takes work and it takes both of you guys being on the same page. And we both wanted our marriage. And you know, back to what I said uh, about me leaving, I realized if I left, what was I going? Talk about it. And my mom at the time was living in, but she lived in this one bedroom house. And I was like, if me and my kids go over there, I mean, we're going to be sleeping on the floor. It's like me having a conversation with Seth. I was doing like Mr. Brown, Seth saying, hmm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And so I just, I just kind of gently. Go ahead and say it. I gently told her, you say that one more time, I'm packing you up and I'm going to take you on over there. And I thought about what we said. He, I gently said. No, nah, he said, you say it again and I'm going to pack your stuff for you and take you over there. And once I thought about it, I've never said it again, guys. <laughs> That's good. That's never good. Said it again. So as you went through the the sickness and in health, uh, what are some other obstacles that y'all went through as far as in, in that category? Because you talked about uh, some surgeries. You mentioned a ton of surgeries that you've been through. I went through, I uh, had a surgery in. Recently, two, well, two years ago, the what, knee the, replacement. The, 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 I did double knee replacement. Yeah. He and was that there was, for that. He was my, uh, it was funny. She was well, like let's a, back up. No, let's back up. The one before that was really serious where my stomach and they couldn't get uh, food to go down my stomach. Mm. And the, mm. it was like a blockage. So they had did this particular time. I had like six surgeries in one week. In one week? Just well, they trying was to repair. Try, they was trying to repair. I was sitting there just like a lonesome puppy just at but a bedside. I, he did, but he started giving instructions to the doctor. <laughs> He started, to, and I started telling them, look, this is what we're about to do. And every time they would, I would go in surgery, I was telling them, hey, this is my voice. This is how I make my money. Yes, I need that. you to use the baby uh, uh, thing to go put the, mm -hmm. the tube mm -hmm. and to be very careful. I know, you Amen. know, but it's, but, it, and he was there like through all of that. And I know it got scary because it's like, I couldn't even hold down water. So it's like. And I just kept looking at him like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm, I'm not leaving. Oh, no. I, if she'd have died, I would have woke her back up. <laughs> you a lie. You a lie. You but a lie. It was you really know. scary for my family. But he was the soldier that he is. He, I call him with God's help. David is truly my Superman. 
and you know think he just make things happen and it's like he started talking to the doctor and, and, and trying to give instructions to the doctor. So listen, something happened to my woman. And We're going to have a problem at you know, this hospital. They, you know, already but but everything out. turned out That's all right. Them, but that was an instance because that was really scary that, you know, we didn't know what was about to happen. Yeah. And the, this double knee replacement was a whole new thing. It was tough. Because she had to learn, that, like, even walking mm -hmm. was a problem. So now not only do I have to, you know, do I got to be crutches as well. Yeah. Yep. So now yeah. I got to get up. Okay, we got to go to the bathroom. Help yeah. lift me up. So yeah. I got to sit there with you know, in the bathroom. It's like it's like watching a plate of steak and not being able to eat. But now it's like oh my, God. <laughs> my bad. I'm but sorry. You, I didn't realize how much you bend your knees. I know it. Huh? Everybody, I mean, everything we requires. Take for yes, yeah. everything requires bending, and he really. I mean, like I would have help with the, my daughters and my goddaughter, and, and my sister-in-law helped help me a lot. They were my day nurses. David was the night nurse. She was like a freaking newborn baby. <laughs> I know it would have to be. And how long was that period? Uh, six About, weeks, six yeah, to eight weeks. Yeah, but the we worst, had to get up the every couple hours. The, yeah, the worst was the first three weeks. Yeah, and so mm. it was getting up every couple hours. So now, if you go back to the day of the vows and you say. Okay, there's going to come a time where I'm, yeah. Yeah, ain't no sleep. We're going to have to be up walking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do everything. Like, okay, cook, mm -hmm. clean, take care of it, and to be there. Am I made for this? I am made for this. There he it is. is. Yeah. There it he is. is. I'm made for he this. Is. But how did you feel, though, David? One of the most vulnerable moments that a man has is when he can't help. It's the most vulnerable position we've ever been where you're sitting there and it's like I can't heal you I can't I can pray for you I can be there I can say jokes I can be at your bedside but I can't nothing in my power physically can change or alter a situation you said something though you said you said the answer and didn't even know it I can be there mm. me a, a lot of times it's just being there and just soothing and when nothing I could do but I was there and I can just hey I'm here Mm. No, let's let's tell this other instance. Okay, it was me. A few weeks ago, well, about a month or so, almost two months ago, I had to go to the emergency room. I got cramps really bad where well, my body just cramped up like feet, and I really thought I was finna get out of here. Really? Yeah. And so the, I, I had him, and I was hollering. I was like, just call the ambulance. And, I, and I'm, I'm no, kind of some like a sideline like, doc. I side line because doctor. I felt my kidneys, like, <laughs> you are I felt my kidneys in my back, like, like tightening up, like, cause I had did my listening party for the overcomer. Yeah. And, and whenever she eaten, does something, whenever I, had, I sweat so whenever much she now. does something, she does it 100%. I don't care what it is. Yeah. And I had sweated real bad. So I, uh, I went home and I went to bed and I, uh, I took a Z quail and not knowing that it set off like the, the hydration even mm -hmm. worse. So, but anyway, but y'all, we had to call an ambulance. Long story short, they came, got me, went to the hospital. <laughs> what was the funny part that I want to tell y'all? When COVID. you said with COVID happening, and you know yeah. everybody wasn't really able to let they let, let nobody go back yeah. there with you. Yeah. So when you said when you what made me reminded me of it is when you say you're there, but it's nothing you can do. Nothing, nothing you can do. Yeah. So David told me he said, "I'm gonna tell you something." I acted a fool at that hospital. Oh, I acted a nut. I was about to go to jail. What you do, I, David? My son had to tell me. I'm sorry, David, David <laughs> said, Daddy, you need to calm down. Because I could see her right there. I said, my wife is right there. Yeah. And the lady just said, have a seat. <laughs> and I said, you don't understand me. My wife is sitting right there, and I'm going back there, and I'm going to go over there. She said, have a seat. He said they're checking them. You said they're checking. They're her checking her in. I don't care if they checking in. I can see her face and she's in distress, and I need to do something because I'm a fixer and I'm gonna be there, sir. Have, have a, a seat. seat. And the next option is the police is coming right here. <laughs> David was like, Daddy, you, she's gonna be in the hospital and you're gonna be in jail. What about you? But well, then he said, I'm just gonna go around. I'm gonna come. I went to around to the back side. The back door. Door. I'm standing at the glass like this. <laughs> Somebody open the glass. <laughs> but but that's that was to me a point of him. I was Did helping. you see him doing that? No, no. He told me later and I was like, why I was you? I was I mean He was so mad at I me. I was about to just tear up the whole place and go to jail because I could not he get to her. 
I was like, I was can't like, get to you. Think about how rational, how irrational that is. I'm trying uh, to get to you, but I'm gonna go to jail and be even further away. From I can see it. Yeah. TMC David Man tears up hospital, goes to jail. Why? Everybody Couldn't get free, to his wife. Free David. Free him. Free him. Free, yes. free, 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 free my babe. Free <laughs> him. But I mean, but it's you know, but that sickness and health thing is it's really it, it's serious. Mm -hmm. And then just think. How like now y'all was mentioning COVID yeah. and people have yeah. lost people and yeah. they had to, they really left here alone. That's the part that's very um, painful Just to think about. Yeah. yeah, because when you talk about adding reference to it is the fact that, yeah, with the new protocols and COVID, people's loved ones was just dying by themselves right. yeah. like right. it's like i don't yeah. even know how to deal with the mental anguish of of you know you that did. happened last year and you're still dealing Ooh. with the fact like yeah. that i i already know i will yeah. yeah i mean just think if i couldn't get to her just oh, if she be. was a you, little you Ill. The whole hospital up it would have been, oh, been a problem yeah, yeah. yeah it would have been a problem it would have been a problem and i wouldn't blame you i pray we never have to go through that yeah, man, and it's 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 this be a problem. Thank you, Lord. This is what those vows are about, though. It right? is these vows that we stand before our family. We whether we go to a courthouse and do it, however, you're saying these vows, and and a lot of people said, "Oh, I just thought I was just repeating after the pastor or the officiant or whatnot." And a lot of times we didn't even repeat what he was saying. <laughs> I mean, he could have said Mary had a little lamb, and you would have repeated yes, it because yes. we just so you nervous. Stumbled, yeah. You stumbled through it. That's yeah. why it's good for us to go back and revisit those things, and that's what got love to cherish and yeah. all of that stuff when you go back and really think and revisit it it kind of you know like you say you do that evaluation it kind of just makes you like okay yeah this year we we got it another year let's see if we can make mm. it another year you know to love and to to honor mm. that word right yeah. there mm. that to honor mm. like i honor this woman yes you know yes. I, I i tell her i tell her all the time just thank you for what just thank you I mean, we we had a a, a a situation here recently. You're talking about sickness and health. We're talking about not just physical sickness. We're talking about mental sickness. Yes. Or the mind sickness. Yeah. I got to a point to where I literally, and I'm going to try to keep them getting choked up, is that I literally got burnt out. I felt like the, the, the character in Green Mile to where everything was, you know, mm -hmm. on, and she literally prayed me through like she, I Woke up and she's like Benny Hinn on me, just you know, just <laughs> you try to cast it out of. Well, I was just, I was just, you know. First we start talking, and this was like two thirty, three in the morning. Yeah, and some good talks. And now you I, have to put that in reference. She doesn't do a lot of, of talking. Oh, talk. uh, really? She no, sings I, great, but I've she been, ain't gonna do no lot of talking. I have to say that you know, even through the evaluations, <laughs> to to look to evaluate my own self. To face the facts about myself that I hadn't been a great communicator. That I mean, I would talk, but I would have, I'm a person of like two or three words. But just even since um, the album, I have, because I asked God to just help me. Help me to overcome those things that that I'm facing within myself. Help, mm. me, help me to overcome me. Because a lot of times we point the finger, but he was going through and I was like, babe, he's always, David is the protector. David mm -hmm. is the provider. He is yeah. the overseer. He's the fixer, whatever. Yeah. I mean, he has a solution. When you think there's no solution, he thinks of a solution. That's good. That's good. But I'm he was taking care of everybody <laughs> else and not taking care of himself. Yeah. And when I just started praying with him and I was like, you've done everything that you're supposed to do with our kids. You've done everything you're supposed to do about yeah. your mom. You've done everything yeah. you're supposed to do about your brothers. Yeah. You've done everything, even with my own family, my siblings, he's seen after my siblings and nieces and nephews. I say, you've been there. Yeah. I say, now, I it's a, it's, now it's time to allow God to be God and let when you're casting those cares, you got to believe that you can cast the cares, but leave the cares that God can take care of you and help you through this. Yes. So I just start encouraging him and letting him know that you're not a failure and that you have done what you're supposed to do, but you got to take care of you. And see, that's another one of those things you talk about sickness and in hell. Yes. That's that's a part of it. It's, it's not really just the physical stuff that I had to do all. with her, but it was the, the fact that she sit and talk to me. 30, 40 minutes, although at about 10, 15 minutes, I was like, who are you? No, 
<laughs> but what? she talked me through this and God, it was God help me help him. Even the specific like, prayers God, that she was praying for me is like, Lord, we're going to believe that this is going to happen now. Mm. He's going to come I out of this, this and it's going to come. I need, I need you to him, work now. I need him to come quick. Yeah. Mm. Come quick, Lord Jesus. And I was I just like, wow. Yeah. This woman is a ride or die. What I've been hearing God say over the last uh, two weeks is suddenly, you know, um, and and I've just been praying and I've been speaking that over my friends and loved ones that the things that we've been praying and asking God for, that is not going to take 10, 15 years. He's going to do stuff suddenly because if God will never be outdone by the devil. Right. And so, and you see the devil taking our loved ones suddenly. Right. suddenly. Yeah. You'll right. talk to somebody, a pastor, a uh, pastor, a pastor friend of mine, we just buried him um, at the beginning of this month, Pastor Tejada at Covenant Church. And uh, he just became the senior pastor uh, last year. And really? yeah, Something Pastor like Tejada, he was a senior pastor of Co uh, Covenant in Carrollton. He used to be the senior pastor in Colleyville and um, right, right behind Arthur Palmer's house. You know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. where the church is. And so he was like, um, I mean, just on was fire for His God. first name, Ricky? Ricky Tejada. Oh, that's the, the one who preached up at Mama Stones. That's him. Oh, Ricky okay. Tejada. Yeah, wow. Ricky she Tejada. Was she didn't yeah. even know. Okay. Yeah, that's my that's, that's my partner, and and um and just everything was fine. Next day, no died. You know Man. what I'm saying? Uh, of COVID, and I was like, the whole church was like, <clears throat> I mean, they had the the congregation the the men in our church uh wrapping around the hospital and praying 24 hours a day just 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 in rotation people coming and just expecting god to move and uh perform a miracle it got so the faith level so high that uh my buddy pastor gordon banks stood up there at his funeral and said it still ain't too late for god i command you to get up out that casket like, like I was, I'm sitting there like, you know, like this. Yeah, you know, I'm looking like no, it's, it's, but he did it for Lazarus. Yeah, that, that's what we talking about. But see, the, but Jesus can what he did then he can do now. See, this, about the comedian in me just no, but up. that's not. Funny. I know it's not funny. Make this I, no funny. I'm not gonna make it no <laughs> funny. But the comedian in me just no, thought about something. It. If he had, <laughs> I, would people still be in the hut? I would have been rejoicing. You would have been rejoicing. Okay, I would have been rejoicing. Some people would have ran. Some people would have ran. I'm just a realistic part of it. Everybody's faith levels are not the same, so yes. But I believe God Especially just the funeral like directors would have been mad. But I, just, but honestly, but that's how God has been dealing with me. That we're going back to that type of place. Yeah, yes. we got to get people back to believing that level. Then that it can happen. That, yes. I mean, whatever, whatever within His power, He said all things are possible. There it is. If you believe, there it is. I believe all things can happen if we trust and believe. Even with God healing the land, keeping our marriage, yes. I mean, we're healing our bodies. Yes, I believe it's all possible. Yes. But I'm crazy enough to believe. And that's what I say. That he still can. And Amen. He, and he is able. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at y'all. Oh, you go ahead and do your yeah, thing. Do your Shoot. thing. Shoot. See, that's what you do. <laughs> Woo. You I think know. of it like that. But, I think of the funny stuff. Yes, you do, dear. That's, that's so, good. I mean, hers is great. Tell me, do that. tell me that's afterwards, the, though. Don't make me laugh that's now. The, that's, that's the balance. That's, but that's I, the balance. But, yeah. You, yeah. But it is, because I think some of them are, even though I believe it's within God's timing of course. for whoever to go with him. Right. But sometimes I think God is a sink trying to see if we will have enough faith that that someone can be raised from the dead. And, and that's, that's what I got from that's what I got from Pastor Banks doing it because he still had a, a fiduciary and spiritual duty right. to be able to say, listen, even if it don't happen, I still got to put God to the test yeah, because yeah. the Bible says, try me in this. Right. And so at the end of the day, we Woo. have to be willing to just try God. Hey, listen, Woo. God, and, and, and not be ashamed that you may, quote unquote, look embarrassed because you can't right. get embarrassed when you're believing God. That's right. And God keeps us in the attitude and the posture of, of saying that, no, just believe with me, even if you feel like you look crazy because you're never going to. And, see, and we, we tie that back to where we are with with marriage. Sometimes we just simply have to tr we like I trust, I trust, and even sometimes with me, you know, you just got to be transparent, yes. but naked before yes. each other, yes, and just trust God to make make it work. Because yeah. there, you know, we we've talked to some couples. We talked to a gentleman, you know, this week, and he's at his wits' end to yeah. the point that we took his ring off, and we just sit in the middle of the thousand degree sun. I mean, and it was a million <laughs> my degrees. My cheeks was pink. <laughs> A million degrees. And we just out in the middle of a field yeah. praying with this guy, believing 
that his marriage is going to be healed. Yes. The first question she asked him was, do you want it? And do his answer was yes. Well, if, okay, if you want it, let's it's get possible. it. possible. That's true. Let's go get That's it. That's true. Yeah. And that's what it's about. It's about the, both people being on the same page to make it work. Mm -hmm. And that's what's so beautiful about it. And But what I noticed from you guys is that God has given y'all an authority and a dominion and, and an anointing over marriage because y'all's marriage has been tried and true. And so when you go through what y'all gone through, you don't go through that just being some rinky-dink, Rudy poot married couple. Right. Because when y'all speak to people, y'all can speak from a place of reference. Um and, we, and, we, and I'm going to go back to speak to something you said earlier. You say you felt like yours was a failure. Yeah. You were a failure. No, because you don't know what we, <laughs> we, we, we didn't. We shared it in the book, what the trials and stuff we had to do to get here. Right. And you know, we talk about, you know, there's the knock at the door. I don't know if you've ever seen the video where I talk about the knock at the door at our fifth year. Mm, so we're nah. five years in our oh, marriage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you know, everything is cool yeah. and we're going through life and, you know, we're yeah. on the road. We, we Jesus, be, this <laughs> he's able. We building. We he's building. Able. We building. And then the knock, knock at, at the, the door. door. And who is it? None other than Mr. Uh, the Attorney General's office yeah, uh -huh. sending me papers saying, oh, by the way, you have a kid. Yep. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so now that puts a whole nother level of trial yes. on your marriage when it's like, Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so and this was before our marriage. Yeah. And yeah. I did know the young lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he cheated. It was doing the man. Yeah. No, I got a baby. This was, this was before I came in the picture. <laughs> we was around. So let's be clear. Let's yes. be clear. Yeah. But but even still doing that, yeah. her saying, you know, because I had a, another child, a previous child. And to say, hey, well, by the way, we got another one. You know, just imagine that conversation, mm -hmm. her coming from work. He's like, how was your day? Oh, I did good at work. How was your day? I got us another baby. You know, I it's mean, like that was. And that I was, was mad. I told him you got you on your own on this one. You said you're on his own. I did. I and that's him. because I, those were my words. And yeah. that's because she felt, you know, I hadn't reassured her that it was me and her yes. and everything else. Yeah. And that's, that's year five. So it's still some foundation that right, still got to right. be yeah. built. Yeah. And yeah. so once I reassured her, like, listen. You know me, the, the man that I am, the integrity, and, and that I'm going to take care of my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about me and you. Me and yeah. you got to be on one accord. Me and you got to be unified That's right. before we can go out and conquer anything else. And once I told her that. And reassured me. I, I, I she was like, like bro. I'm, I'm with you. Let's go take over the world. You know what's so beautiful about that? <clears throat> Is that when you get a chance to, you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty. And when you get a chance to sit from where y'all are right now, knowing that what Tamla would not be Tamla without David, David would not be David, David without, without Tamla. Sure it's, it's, y'all are each other's yin and yang. Y'all are what makes each other work right? to the highest level. Not, not, not minimum. I'm talking about highest level. <laughs> and I always say that I don't want a wife. I want my purpose partner. Right. I want somebody that will link up with me and God knows my purpose and I know her purpose and our purposes come together and collide and we do great exploits. We do great lives. That's, yes. that that's what I see right here. Yeah. That's you, good. You know, when I talk to Dave, they're like, hey, yeah, I just went and bought 387 acres. You know what I'm saying? I said, yeah. That's what purpose looks like. When you get yeah. people together, because I because I'm telling you, you can get with the wrong person and that idea he had. Could have never came. Stomp out. Yeah, purpose. be like, no, nah, we don't need all that. We don't yeah. need all, all that. What you mean, all that? That's, yeah. You're doing too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> you, it can you, literally <laughs> stomp out purpose. Yeah, you're doing too much. You know, and like even when it when it came to her uh, being a solo artist, I believed in her so strongly. You know, we we had a argument, like a full out. We did. You know, what? <laughs> yes. What? That is, yeah, yeah. I ain't doing no singing. I did. I yes. was like, oh, I you didn't want to be a solo artist? No, I was happy with being in the background. And I said, no. He was. Like, that he, is not, no. I said, you're a world-class singer. Mm. You need to be out front. Well, she came with every excuse in the world of not, well, we ain't got the money to do that. You don't worry about the money. I'll make sure. We ain't got no songs. You don't worry about <laughs> the songs. Got no songs. I got this. We ain't got no studio. You don't worry about the studio. I got that. Oh, David, let's get reference. Did you have all that planned out? You just going to figure it out as you I, go along? I believe so strong that I was going to figure it out. He was figuring it out. I was figuring it out. He was playing. He was putting things I, in motion, but he was, he was, he was working his motion. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was just working. I mean, like, you know, making calls, just making connections, just, you know, just like how y'all just talk, yeah. talking to people. It's like, well, okay. Well, Borrowing you know money to do yeah, it. Yeah, better. Yeah. I said, hey, I'm going I'm to borrow the money and do it. I said, huh? Well, you going, what? So yeah. what did you see in her? I seen the gift, the world-class gift, the anointing above all. Because I, you get a different reference because you, yeah, you, you, you live with us. So what do you see in her that you say, this is a world, you well, say a uh, world-class singer. A lot of times that's the worst when you live with them and see it. But see, I'm st <laughs> people still make jokes to this day. And I've been seeing her sing 35, 37 years. And I still, I'm on the side of the stage he's, like this. He's standing off. And yeah, <laughs> she, she, people don't know this. And, and, and it tripped the promoter out when we went on tour. He say, while she's singing, you never sit down. I said, no, she's not sitting down. And I'll tell her some nights if her voice is not doing well, I sing the whole set. And I tell you, you know why you made it through that set. Because I, I every sung note. every note. He said, I hit highs and all. Sometimes she... But she's not going to sing it. What? I do a full perform... I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> he said, I ain't playing with you. I be, back, I be done done up. I'm tired. My throat sore. I be done done a full performance. And she come off. She tired. I said, yes, boy. We told we that. We, we told that stage up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all. He, he's very unusual. <laughs> but I'm an unusual woman oh, yeah. to him. Yeah. You know, because oh. I believe still, you know, I still serve him. Yeah. You know, like I yes. make his plate and so I still serve him. A dying art serving. And, you know, I ask him, what do you want? I, I, I prepare. If you got something special, well, I, I'll fix it. I'll fix whatever I want. But we take care of each other. I want to ask you, you this time. Can, I, can I say two ahead. words that couples don't say to each other say anymore? It. Please and thank you. We'll go to work and please and thank you, everybody, everybody else. else to death. And we get home, give me some. <laughs> please and thank you is it's, it's two simple words. Mm. Please and thank you. Thank you. I'm going to add that to my repertoire. Please yeah. and like, thank yeah. you. Because yeah. I even, like, I you know, I adopted uh, this young man named Armani about two years ago. And uh, it'd be two years next month. And he says it all the time. He always says, can I please have this and thank you? And I was like, and, and at first I was like, why do you always say that all the time? You know what I'm saying? I'm like. Oh, he was getting on your nerves. He was getting on my nerves saying it. I was like, God, like I'm your dad. I'm supposed to give it to you. But crazy. one time he put me in reference. He said, you forgot I came from foster care. He said, my mom beat me. He said, my mom is a drug addict. Um, I didn't know where our next meal was going to come from. Okay. He said, so I'm thankful every time right. you give me a meal. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Well, well okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Wow. You're welcome, son. What else you want? Let's go yeah. out to eat. Where you want to go eat at? You know what I'm right. saying? Daddy, it's can like, I please have a Ferrari? Yes, you Thank can, you. Baby. Thank <laughs> you. Baby. I'm like, but he, yeah. at everything, he prays over everything. You give him a bag of chips, he's going to pray. And he's going to eat his chips. And I was like, you just pray over everything? You know, he's like. In all things, give man, thanks. When I tell you, it blows my mind. And so when I'm thinking I'm doing something for him, he's doing so much for me and making me wow. value the simple things. Mm -hmm. You know, the things that we overlook. You know, um, like you even said, that some things we take for granted, our knees. You know, when I stand up right now, I expect my knees to activate and yeah. I'm supposed to stand up. But you what do happens until if you I don't have, have them. them? Yeah, you don't have them. It's like, okay, uh, where's my David Mann at? I need yeah. to help me out. You know what I'm saying? Oh. You get that pop in there, like, oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> Please, Help Lord. Me. Thank Help you. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. So answer this. At what point did you start believing what he saw in you? Uh, It took a minute. It took a minute. Um, I would say it was a couple years after, actually, we started going in the album and working the records and uh, just standing out there on my own. Cause he was, he was instructing me. He was helping me become the artist. I was 38 years old. Mm -hmm. So he was really helping me become the artist okay, I mean, that I think I people hear that. You started your solo career solo at career. 38, 38 years, years, old. years old. It's not too, too late. late. Until you're dead. There it is. That's what I tell people. Yep. If you're alive and breathing, you can with God's help. Again, all things are possible. Yes, it but is. you gotta believe it. So I start believing in myself. He kept pushing me. And I still, but I was fighting him. Oh, I was, I was pushing back. Boy, I was, was she. I was pushing back hard. So to say for those who are watching today, if you have somebody that love you and is pushing you to do good, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
please just go ahead and do the good. There it is. Because sometimes it takes somebody else seeing something in you that you don't see in yourself. There it is. I didn't really see it in myself. I didn't hear it in myself. But by him giving me instructions and then us, you know, even with doing the plays and becoming an actress, yeah. you know, he pushed me into that because I was like, I love to sing. <laughs> but when it came to acting, I'm like, uh, I was fighting him on that. So who encouraged y'all to get into that? Him did. <laughs> Now, now I, I will say, even, even with the, the person, a, the person that's doing the pushing, you got to make sure that you know how to push right. Yeah. yeah. See, because I was pushing from a drill sergeant pers- At first. Uh, yeah. perspective when I should have been pushing as a coach. Mm. See, a drill sergeant come out and yell, get it, yeah. it, it, and a coach say, "Okay, I'm gonna take the strengths." And I'm gonna I'm gonna take you where you weak, and we're gonna cover it up with this. And we're gonna run this, and then we'll get a touch that. But to help him out, mm. he did. But honestly, sometimes mm. it takes a little rattling and a little rough. Yeah. Because what happens for me, it may you know some you may be different. Whoever's yeah. watching, but when he would tell me, so you are you not gonna do it, or you gonna when he told me, you ain't gonna do. I said, that you, made, oh, so you gonna just do it like, like that? It's like he played no. Jedi mind trick on me. He said, "When you ain't, so you not gonna." So, but when he was telling me you ain't gonna do, oh, I that said, was on. Got to prove was, wrong. Now. I was on exactly. Watch this, she about to kill it. Now. It was, it was on. Then, like I'm about to learn it. I'm finna get this. I said, you know, and I still, I'm still a work in progress. I still come to him and. You know, when it comes to interviews, David is good with words. Yeah. Like I told you, I wasn't a, a big talker. He's helped me become talk more. It's like sometimes if I'm lost, I'm like, how would I answer that? But we can't be afraid to yes. let, to be transparent. Like when you don't know. You say y'all know. You don't know. I, I've learned that. <laughs> that's what I we're don't there know. for each other. Yes. We, we're, that's, what, that's what I'm supposed to do. There we're is. there for each other. Like her strengths and, yeah. and my, my strengths. We collide. Yeah, like today, we, we was about to be late. I was like, hey, we got to go. You just meet him tomorrow. He was like, yeah. yeah. Well, I just didn't think of that. He was trying to be funny. You coming up with some good some good old answers. I looked at him like, that's the circuit. No, you, didn't, you didn't see the look that the she circuit. gave me, like a slow sarcastic. burn. I was like. It's a slow burn. But, but it is mean? okay to be, the word says for us as a woman to be, be a help me. But yeah. it's okay for us to be help us to one another is the main objective that I want him to do good. He wants me to do good. You mean you shouldn't just be ready to submit to my every word? Talk no. about yeah. it. Oh, Talk about it. The no. dreaded submit word. Yes. No, but 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 it's okay to, to hear him and I can take I can be submissive to him. But if he comes in the right way, let me tell you it this. makes you yield when you it's said to you in the right way. Let me tell fellas uh-huh. this. Don't expect nobody to submit to nothing you say if you ain't submitted to God first. Talk about submit it. is not a word we use to say, be my servant, do what I say, yeah, do. Obey. You have to have a mission for their family. And it's y'all submitting one to another. Mm-hmm. There's some there's some things sometimes I have to say, okay, you're right. All right, on that. It's not we shouldn't use that word as a dictator. To go around and use it. Because when women hear that, that people cut. When women hear I, that. Because I don't do that. One. Yeah, we submit. It's like, no. I don't do that. I don't ain't do no that. submit. And you have no mission. You have no guidance, no goal, no, you know. No plan. No, yeah, plan, no plan for the. Yeah. That's what's so powerful. You just said. You have to have a mission in order to get submission. Yeah, because yeah. sub is something that's under, under so yeah. it's the undercurrent. It's the it's it's, it's what's the foundation right. of mm. the mission. And so, uh, and like the Bible says, submit ye one to another. That's right. And oftentimes one we forget thing, that one. They, yeah, they, we yeah. forget that one. And, and that was the reason why that is so prevalent in my mind is because when I was married, I never looked at it as that. I never. I I was like. My ego wouldn't allow me to, my wife would try to cover me. My ex-wife would try to cover me like, hey, make sure you do this. Hey, Mm -hmm. watch this. And I'd be like, whatever. And then somebody else would tell me the same thing and I'll do it. And and then then she says, well, why are you listening to everybody else but you won't listen to me? I've been there. I've been there even with him. Like you say, when when did you listen or hear from him? And it's still, and it's still at times I have to catch myself and just hear what he's saying. Yeah. 
You know, because there has been times that somebody else said it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. So they must have said it and in boy, Spanish or something. He, and I don't I was, speak Spanish. What was I speaking? And, and, <laughs> and now, burn now, them up. Now, that goes, that goes both ways because there have been burn some. Them up. There have been some people. And sometimes even when we do business and we do, you know, whether it's television, music, or yeah. whatever, there are some times I bring her to the table, not for the business part. But because of her discernment for people. Talk about it. And there have been times when her discernment for people, when I should have listened, and it was like, no, nah, it's all right. Give the benefit of the doubt. And she said, that one's going to come back to bite you in the butt if you're not careful. Oh, you just chilled and just, you know. And, Man, let me tell you something. Boy, and I had a chunk out my he butt. All, he, all my, he all in my business right now. <laughs> yeah. So we was going to talk about it. I had a show that I was putting together. And um, it was my first year of marriage. And uh, I had this national play I was putting together, and it was some other guys in the play market. And my, they would call me and ask me advice, and you know, talk about different people to cast. And she said, "You need to watch them." And I was like, "No, I told God that if He bless me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a give my resources and tell people and help people all out." She said, "But not them." I said, "You just so you're so negative. Why are you so negative?" When I tell you, she was right. those people took. The two people that I had as my headliners in my show and went and lied to them and said that my promoter didn't have no money. We had the same promoter. Went and told them that the promoter I had, we didn't have no money to pay them and uh, took my two cast members. That was the foundation of my show. And um, and I, I was flying to L.A. to go sign the deal and all that. And uh, I had a conversation with Robbie Reed. She was like, what happened overnight? I said, what you mean? She said, they have decided to do, you know, so and so show, and I was like, "Well, well, hold on." I was just talking to them, like they was gonna get genuine. They was gonna actually get genuine in their show, and she and oh God, ooh, this is bring back memories. Yeah. So they, they genuine. Uh, she had a stronger relationship with genuine than um, than they did. But then when she called me and said, "Hey, you want genuine?" I cast it for one of his music videos, and I said, "No, nah, I heard that they trying to get them, and I don't want to get no bidding war. So let them have them." And we'll, we, we, we got the people we're going to get. She said, all right, well, cool. And then their deal fell through with Genuine, and then they went and got my people. When I tell you, I felt like the biggest idiot, and, and, this the, and I just got married two weeks prior. And um, they and, took my whole routing. They took everything. And don't you hate it when they – I would rather her just say, I told you. She said, no, it's okay. Said, no. You gonna say something to me? Gonna say you you gonna go off on me and tell me I told you? No, we we good. We good. We good. That's torture. That's so Stop torturing me. <laughs> Man, I had to come back from LA and I sat there. She was like, mm. I said, uh, they um, yeah, they. Uh, Did you have a little trembling? They oh, they, uh, they they got yeah. everything, they, baby. They took the whole. They got everything. We're not gonna go on tour this season. <laughs> <laughs> I took schedule went from eleven weeks to three. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Hey, they I know. Was like, oh, it was so bad. She said, she had to say nothing because I just said, man, I was so hurt. I was like, God, why did this? I'm trying to do good by people. Why would you allow this to happen to me? You know but what I'm saying? But that goes to show that, like, just like I'll tell you with her, I, I, I had to learn to trust her discernment. That's what I'm talking about. Trust, like, okay, what do you think? <laughs> can, I, can I say, can I say what I say? It was I say, what that nigga talking about? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly, and because she can see, and someone, and when I got married, the pastor prophesied that was saying that our strengths. Oftentimes, we don't. My ego wouldn't allow me to capitalize off of her strength and to and use to understand, it. Yeah, to use it. Use We're a it. team. But I was so busy of wanting to impress her. I want to show her that I got it. I got it all together. You know, she was four years my senior. And so I was like, I want to show you that I can I can lead our family. I can do this. And she's like, you ain't got to do it by yourself. And just knowing you were your anointing, like like her anointing, like she's anointed. She's anointed to sing. You see, you see she just got deep on it. And it's just like. <laughs> said she got deep on she got deep. it. And I, and I know my, my, my I'm a. For a long time, I didn't think my ability to bring joy to people was a true anointing. Mm. So I discounted it as like, well, that ain't no anointing. Only preachers and singers mm. and ministers are anointed. 
I'm gift anointed to make people laugh. laugh. Yes. I, that's a that's a gift. That's a gift that God has given me. Yes. That's a gift. And we operate in and we just we they work together. But see, that's the, this is still the sickness and the health, y'all. Yeah. yeah. So it's like working in your weaknesses. That's there it is. You know, your yeah. weakness can be a sickness. It sure can. Right? So this is another part of sickness and health. Teach, teach, teach. And so at so y'all, how many albums have you have you put out solo? This is my Six. Yeah, six or six, one of them. So yeah, when you six. look back, when you look back and you hear this little bald head man's voice in your head that said, baby, you're a world-class singer. I just, well, I'm not going to say to that part, but I'll say he right. Because I don't, <laughs> I like say she's I don't I'm not mean, no, I'm not yeah, going to say yeah. that. That's not for she me to say. She will not. That's not for me to say. But I'll say he was right for me to use my gift. Solo. He was right for me to use my gift and my gift is important and that my gift will and has made room for me. Mm. Even up until the night we had the live recording, right? We, the live recording, we in the back, well, I'm going to wear this. I'm not going to wear this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then, so stuff started happening and I'm supposed to have this big old tank cause I'm trying to do a production. I've always <laughs> just put it on big production Yeah, and I'm, I'm ready to punch somebody in the face. He was. He was ready to punch. Oh, I was hot. <laughs> Just so much stuff going on. When she opened her mouth, all I could do was stand there and just weep. It's like I was like this, just mad. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I just, yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's the effect but, that she still has on me to this day. But God is truly, truly taking care of us, Sarah. <laughs> he just cracked. But God is really taking care of us. Because I can picture David running around acting he was, like a gorilla. Oh, I I didn't know, what? But he tries not to let me see it. Yeah, I was hot. He was like, I done gave. He, he wrote out, had it laminated for everybody to have their instructions. I, have a, I had a shot selection shot, sheet. And they wouldn't the follow no and shots. And he he had it all together. But Somebody's going to get shot that day. <laughs> and but, then what happened? Jesus. Yeah, but, I, but God. She started singing. The God Lord is, worked that, out, that God thing been out. Fa he has been faithful unto us. I'm All I could do was just sit there and just say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I stood on the side of the stage like this the whole night, just like a little dummy. Just <laughs> <laughs> And so you'll be knowing all that's going on behind uh -huh. the scenes. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. He, no, he keep that part from me so I can. Because I, you know, because I'm easy. Because if it's going there, I want to know what's wrong with him. So he keeps that from me until after it's over, y'all. Yeah. What do you be thinking when you find out after the fact? I be like, what? He be like, you him. just don't know what all done happened. Mm -hmm. And I be like, what? He was like, why you was going? We was just back home running right. I was about to punch somebody. I'm, like, I'm delivered now, y'all. Like, oh, it's oh, another thing it's, she prayed for me for. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's been, you know, this 33 years has been a ride. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to God for everything. If anything, I could go I back and change. I thought you was about to pull a Robin Givens on me. I like will she go did back. Mike Tyson. And I will be, you know, I will be. Uh, <laughs> I will be. Sorry. I will be more of a speak. I would speak up for myself if I could go back and do things over, and you know, and have more words, you know, even just more input. Why you say that? Because I just, I never. I was just a I was okay always follower. pushing her to say, hey. I'm just a follower. But, yeah, I, I, but was, I didn't know that I had a spirit of, of that I could lead to. Yes. And I've always, hey, no, your voice matters. Hey, say it. Say yeah, it. Speak it up. Just talking, not necessarily just singing. Mm -hmm. But and then and and it made sense, but when you're not sure of yourself and your own fears can kill mm -hmm. kill you. And I was afraid to just stand in my own yeah, I mean my own skin, honestly. So and when you were when you were younger, were you just a little quiet kid? I was pretty much quiet. Kid in the yeah. back of the class, but I was a didn't laugher. Say anything. But in school, yeah, exactly. I didn't say anything. But even when it came to my family, I would be the laugher, and you know, I would say something if somebody kept picking on me, you know, to speak like up for myself. And this is how but, I know we, as a couple, we needed each other. Mm -hmm. Like, I needed her to calm the savage beast. <laughs> like, like for real, for real, for real. I, I mean, like. She comes in, hey, bae. And it's just, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma but it's it's amazing. Like it's amazing. With, with her, she needed a man of integrity. Yeah. To to say, hey, look, you can. Yeah. You will. 
This is how it's going to work. And so that is what made those two halves whole with us. That's how God is, has you, blessed Lord. us through the years is because he knew this Thank needs you, this to get this and get the word out about me. Let me ask you this, man. You ain't no punk vocalist. You can sing your face off. So he, what made you, what made you, because most people don't do what you did. And a lot of people don't recognize that is that you're a vocalist. You're a singer. You can blow. What made you not say, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be a, a solo artist. What made you pour all that into her versus you? Because that's the Or to be a duet. But run every, around like but even everything he, or something. Everything he poured into me. That's the gift. I've seen that gift. Now, my, now, if you ask her, like she said, her first love is singing. Yes. Mine is acting. Now, acting, it's like I would. But I always want both of us to go along for the ride on the, whatever journey we're going yeah. on. So, so I just get I get to be on the sideline in the background up at night making sure the album stuff works yeah. and make sure the music is and this, that. We, we get to operate when it comes to the movies and the yeah. the television stuff. Of course, that's more, you know, they feature me more. Yeah. But we still get to operate in each other's gifts. And I'm and, good and, and with like, that. She's, I'm if, good with that. Let's be clear. Uh, yeah, let's be clear. <laughs> if it ain't wasn't no for me, she no would jealousy. not be doing that. Ain't no jealousy here. Look. She wouldn't be acting at all. It's like, I ain't got to do that's that. That's what works for us because we support each other in Strengths. each other's lanes. Yeah. And we push each other. And if somebody won't just take a picture with him and I'm standing, I'm cool. With oh, just we don't get in each other's shy. I'm cool with just oh. standing right there. I don't have to be in that picture. Like if it's, if, <laughs> it's, if she's doing a concert. I'm all right. I'm all right. I ain't got to be in there by picture. Yeah, yeah. No, she's doing a concert and I'm on the side of the stage. I'm, uh, uh, today, uh, today ain't my day. I ain't doing no videos. Man. But that's her shine. And I've seen couples that's in this good. industry, fight. They, fight they fight about the shine. Yes. And it's just like, no, move. This is my stuff. This is my that's spot. Right. This is my yeah, spot. They, they will literally be like, oh, you, I, you just see it. They'd be like, I've seen yeah. it. I've seen it. <laughs> and it's like, like hey, that, what's all that about? That's sad. And that's what happens. And, and you know, even, when, and, and I know we get you know, off subject, but we talk about the whole reality show deal. Mm -hmm. You know, when we did the reality show, people were like, you know, that's the, the curse. that's the curse, the marriage yes, curse. Yes. I see those marriages were cursed before they got there. Talk, <clears throat> I said, this thing is solid. There was some stuff that they would want us to say. And you just say, we ain't going to say it. And don't, we don't talk to each other like that. Oh, I'll be like, I don't talk to my woman like that. Don't ever add, I don't tell my woman to shut up. Yeah. People don't realize, I no, no. So it's like certain things, no, we don't do that. And so some of those, that, it was like, that was doomed from the beginning. <laughs> But they just know how to twi you yeah. twist that. So yeah. now, now you at each other. We'll be like this. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, but see what the, the great thing about it is because you already had the foundation touring in plays and acting. Mm -hmm. So y'all ain't taking everything so seriously. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, well, mm -hmm. we, this is fun. We having fun. We just, and you said it, that was fun. That and was if it's not fun, then it becomes work. And when it becomes work, now you have all this discord and all this other stuff. It's, it's people supposed to, and y'all show was so fun. You know what I'm saying? We, so, yeah. we just love doing what we do. Yeah. And we get to, we get to share life with each yes. other. That's we get to about. do what we love and we get to do it with, that didn't sound right, did it? We get to do it with each other. Y'all got kids. We've been together. Yeah. I mean, y'all got kids. 33 career, years. Career. 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 It sounds like we were making a soft porn on this. Just a Christian. Y'all got kids. Y'all got kids. Hey, will you, will you, okay, I'm not supposed to say it out loud. But I helped you get out of it and okay. you just went back. <laughs> My bad. God bless you, huh? Go ahead, God man. bless you. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. But this has been great. This has been great. So, so listen, before we conclude, I would love for y'all to pray. I want y'all to pray um, over couples that may be facing some traumatic times in their life, especially dealing with the subject matter of through sickness and in health. I've heard so many people, I've gotten DMs where people said that their their spouses left them in the hospital while they were battling cancer and said, I wasn't built for that. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had a, a close friend that was on my podcast in the first season and she uh, suffers from rheumatoid arthritis. And as she was dating this guy, 
uh, she had, this is the first time she had a big flare up and she couldn't carry anything. And he said, hold on, what's wrong with you? She said, well, I just found out I had rheumatoid arthritis. He said, oh, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. And he see said, that? I can't. And he, and it's he, good he she found out about him now. Talk about it. <clears throat> it's good Talk she about found it. out about him now. Talk about it. So Look yeah, go sure. ahead and do us a favor and y'all can just tag team and pray for the people. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity first to make your name great and bring more notoriety to you, God. Yes, we God. Ask, we asking that if there's any couple out there that's going through any problem, any situation, God, yes. that you would just touch their heart, open their heart yes. to just reconcile, open their hearts to, first of all, come to lo know and love you, God. Father, we just thank you for another chance, yes. another chance at love, another chance at unity, God. Unify them because where, yes, where there's unity, there is strength, Father. Father. And yes, we just God. pray for a supernatural love, God. Yes, when we talk about in sickness and in health, God, we we to to the end, Father, we just yes, thank you that you are reconciling right yes, now, God. God. You are making the crooked straight, building it up where it's torn torn down, yes, God. And we'll just forever give you the glory for them being reconciled yes, and God. unified. Jesus. Yes, Lord God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father God, we just thank you for it each other, God. We ask you to just touch the hearts of men and women, God, yes, that are God. watching, Lord God. God, you go into their homes, Lord Jesus. Yes. God, you shake them wherever they need to be shook, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. We ask you to build them up where they're weak, Lord God. We ask you to strengthen them, God. Help their unbelief, Lord, if they're mm. having any unbelief, that you can do all things, God, because with you, God, all things are possible. Yes, God. Lord, you can save any marriage. You can save any couple. Yes. God, we thank you for your love and your kindness that you're giving them. God, help them to be merciful unto each other, Lord mm. God. Yes, Help them to show mercy and grace unto each other, Lord God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all things, again, working mm. together for their good, Lord God. We thank yes. you. We help them to point themselves back to you, Lord yes. God, where they need to, Lord Jesus. Strength, that you strength, need to be strength, in strength, everything, yes, God. God, that you're a part of all things. Lord, we ask you to just send your people, their hearts back to you, God. Help them to receive them, receive you unto them, Lord. Yes. To receive you, Lord God, in their lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for all things, Lord Jesus. We mm. give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for this opportunity, Lord. Let something be said, Lord God, to help someone, to just draw them closer to you and to each other we give you praise in jesus name yes, lord. amen 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 <clears throat> now listen send your offerings to me yeah no <laughs> and, 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 and to me and uh <laughs> listen man we got to support y'all let's talk about these projects y'all have out here because i want i want the the viewers to be sowing into some good ground uh and y'all are definitely well my good new ground. project Come i on. hate to cut the brother off <laughs> called Overcomer and I believe that we're all overcomers yes. and this is my new album that's out I need you guys to download it stream yes. it help mama granny papa mm -hmm. ain't any them download especially for my senior citizens 50 yeah and up a lot of us I don't know that how to, to be download so, so please help us download and stream Overcomer I promise you give me opportunity it will bless you it's something yeah. on there for everybody and uh, you can follow us at David and Tamla. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and we also have a YouTube channel. It's called mm -hmm. Man TV. Yeah, and, and the book. Don't forget the yeah, book. Yeah, that book. And if you want to get the book, I... I, I wish y'all would have brought it. I, I didn't. I, yeah. Man, we've been well, we running, did, so we yeah. forgot. We had another meeting that yeah, lasted forgot. longer that made us forget <laughs> some things. Now, yeah. the audio, now, I like the book. Get the book if you like the book, but... It Get the audio version. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have an audio version. We're doing against, the audio versus Us the Against book. the World, Our Secrets to Love, Marriage, and Family. How, David and Tamara. Why you say get the audio versus the book? Because, you know, in the book, we, we read it, but we don't read the book just like reading the book. Okay. We tell the stories. Yes. Mm. And there's some he moments. Add, yeah. him, add, him add some extra words <laughs> in there. <laughs> it's fun. It's a fun read. There, there, it. It, it takes you on a journey, a roller yeah. coaster ride, and it's from our voice. Mm -hmm. And you can hear and just feel. There's a couple moments in there to where some of the stories just kind of, mm -hmm. it's just well, like we found ourselves like, oh, my God. We were crying, yes. but then there were some of the stories was like, okay, we got to finish. So, the, and I left a lot of the edits in there. You know, sometimes, yeah. sometimes you want to make it perfect. Nah, you want it real. No, leave it in there. Yeah. Leave us in there laughing at ourselves. I you love know? that. But we also have uh, two movies coming out this fall. Oh, shoot. One uh, is Soul Santa, which is going to air on BT this Christmas. Mm. 
Um, we also have another movie that's coming out with Tyler Perry. It's called Mud Is Homecoming. Uh, on Netflix. Well, this <laughs> person who this he person. acts as Mr. Brown, <laughs> trust got some crazy some funny stuff. We got Mud Mud did want to pull everybody together again to make people laugh because of all of this that yeah. we're still going through in the mm-hmm. world. So just check out Mud Is Homecoming. It's gonna be on Netflix. Y- y- y'all know when that's gonna drop? It's probably I, I, I say the end of November, November yeah. top somewhere of December. Then, yeah. So it's, this is coming. This we in the fall now, but so it's coming within the next month or so. So are you in the you in the film right? Yes, uh-huh. both of okay. us. But his, I say him because they doing some things, Mr. Brown and Mr. Brown doing some things. This <laughs> that's funny. I can't even give it away. It's, I, I'm, I'm yeah. not gonna give it away. Yeah, it's but some they funny beating stuff. him up in a mighty special way. When y'all shoot that? Oh, when did we shoot that? I don't remember. It's May. May. Man, so one time no, in May. We shot like two that. movies this year. Yeah, we, we shot, shot one, one in January, February, when it was cold in Connecticut. <laughs> oh. Wow, it was cold. Y'all oh. be out here working in these streets, don't you? We hey, have man. been working. Gotta but keep working. And Tamil Man Collection, for those. Yes, let's talk the about thick, that. The Thick Ladies, the size is 12 to 32. I love a thick girl. It's for your <laughs> everyday tell, woman. It's at leisure, so you can dress it up or you can dress it down for you to work out, run errands. Things of that nature, but I'm really, really thank you. First of all, for those yeah. who have purchased, even during this pandemic, thank y'all for all your help. Tell somebody size twelve thirty two, and I'm working on some gear, guys. There it y'all is. Y'all know what I it's mean when I you say up. gear. You'll be tricking all the men. <laughs> They'll think you're a six. <laughs> you be a so y'all be praying for us, but <laughs> uh, it's all about great quality with Tamla Man Collection. So y'all uh, just jump in there, TamlaMan.com. In order to check it out. Well, I want to make sure that people know this, that David had this conversation with me about how picky you are at making sure that your customers get the highest quality of goods. I do. That's why it costs a little bit more, because I want to make sure when you see us, you're not seeing us, (laughs) like meaning see through. Yeah. So that's that's important to me that it's put together good and the seams are good. And that's that's really important. And the fabrics look nice because we don't want to look like we wearing a tablecloth. Uh, <laughs> things of that nature. Yeah. He said. He said. Did you really protect me? Like, oh, that ain't good enough. So uh-uh. I send it back. Nope. Let's get this. And you. And so I was like, I like that. That she's really big about quality and not just trying to just sell stuff yeah. just to sell mm-hmm. it. She like don't nice. just slap her name on it. She goes yeah. through quality yeah. control. And, and yeah. I do sketching. The stitching and ain't stuff. right. Uh-uh. You said send you it sketching? Back. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. She got a whole book of sketches. <laughs> Well, listen, man, thank y'all so much. Listen, I'm deeply honored to have y'all. Y'all are such an amazing couple, and y'all have provided reference in my life without even knowing you're providing reference. And I know a lot of people that are gleaning information and wisdom from y'all throughout the years just by just looking at y'all and saying, I like that they like each other. You know, like you said earlier, is that people love each other, but they just don't like each other. Amen. And, uh, and we know that no marriage is perfect it's but not. but you can see that y'all withstand the test of time so and thank, well, thank you for you. having us thank, thank, so thank you all so much and we just pray the lord give us many many more years as long as the world is going good here to have us <laughs> here to have as long as <laughs> going the, the, good the lord. but y'all just keep god in your life please pray y'all pray for this country pray for this world yes that we would turn our hearts back to god mm. because that is our healing For all of us, the nation is going back to God. There it is. We end on that. God bless. Discover. Uncover. Recover love. With the new Dear Future Collection. The journey starts from within. Let your inner thoughts find freedom on the pages of this richly hued Dear Future Blue Sapphire Edition Genuine Leather Journal. It features a cross-stitched spine and luxurious cording to bind your deepest insights. A great accompaniment is the Dear Future Luxury Bamboo Fountain Pen. There's nothing more intentional than the writing process of a fountain pen. This is an elegant writing work of art. Join the thriving community of fountain pen enthusiasts and purchase one today. These exclusive items and more are available at dearfuturewifey.com. Man, let me tell you, I am so excited to have had the mans on the podcast today. 
Listen, make sure you go pick up that book, Us Against the World. We got to support our brother and sister in Christ and get Tamla Mann's latest album, Overcomer. Come on, let's make that bad boy hit number one. Well, here's my favorite part of the podcast, where I manifest my future wifey. Dear future wifey, I am committed to our commitment. Our vows will not be casual words strung together and verbalized with redundancy. The Lord our God will take the breath I'll use to utter these sacred words, merge them with the sweet aroma that will flow from your lips, and seal our decree in the heavenlies until death do us part. Our love will withstand the test of time and our three chord strand will draw us to one another when we meet our Savior in eternity. If our love is ever dying, we will resuscitate it by speaking God's living and breathing word until it jumpstarts our hearts. This is in sickness and in health. Place your hand over my chest. My heart beats faster when I feel your touch. Hold my heart gently. Be my puppeteer. Pull my heartstrings and watch me dance. I will dance a slow dance with you, with your hand in mine. I love you, your future hubby. Thank you for listening to the Dear Future Wifey podcast. Remember, be lit, live intentionally and transparently, and don't stop loving. Make sure to subscribe to our Dear Future Wifey YouTube channel. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Stitcher. We welcome your support. Simply share our podcast with your friends and family.